All right, this is going to be a requested video. Um, I got asked, how do you get Denise to open specific files or folders or programs? Um, there's several different ways you can do this. Um, one way is through the brain editor, the other way is through the command browser. Um, I'm going to show you both. Okay, this one is with the command browser. So what you're going to do is you're going to find the command browser on your system. You're going to hit new script. Okay. Then um, for this one, I'm going to use this program called Call Center. Okay, I'm going to say, okay, when you do the new script, shit. When you do the new script, the my command name is what you say to trigger uh, the response or her to do something. Okay, so my command name, I'm going to say, um, monitor my calls. Okay, so when I say monitor my calls, she's going to open that program. Okay, um, I'm going to leave this as a global command, not application specific, not Windows specific. It's going to be global, so it doesn't matter what I'm doing in the computer, if I'm on the internet, if I'm on a different program or whatever. If I say monitor my calls, she will do what I tell her. For command type, you're going to go down to step by step. Then for new step, you're going to do open application, then insert. And I'm just going to find the target. Ooh, what was that? That's the shortcut. Let me see here. There it is. Make sure you don't do the shortcut if it's on the desktop. Go in and find where the actual program is. See, I had took it an easy way and I did the shortcut. That would not have worked. So I gotta go find it. Program files. There it is. Then I actually found the exe versus just the shortcut. Okay, so there it is. So now if I save it, it's right here under a global command. So I'm gonna open up Denise. Good afternoon, Dominique. My systems and functions are fully operational. How can I help you? Go to sleep. Entering sleep mode. Say wake up to start recognition. Okay, this is where I'm going to tell her to monitor my calls and she's going to run the application. Wake up. I can hear you. Monitor my calls. Sir, you have a new text message. Okay, there it is. It's just connected to my phone. Noise interference detected. Speech recognition compromised. That is something I haven't seen in a while. I haven't seen the him, him, him in a while. Okay. Um. Speech recognition is disabled. Click in the red light to turn on. Wow, I'm having dictation issues today. I don't know why. If you see my other videos, you know that I don't get really the him, him, him issue very much. But t for today, for whatever reason, I, I did. It's weird. So that is, it will launch the program. I mean, you could it, it launched it, you know. Even though you didn't see it, it did say connecting to Dom's phone. Uh, that means the program did successfully launch. Now, that was when I had focus in the chat box. I said that. Let's try it when I don't have focus in the chat box. Let's say I'm on the Internet. And I say, uh, monitor my calls. Let's see if she opens the program. I can hear you. Monitor 
monitor my calls. Sir, you have a new text message. Go to sleep. Speech recognition is disabled. Click in the red light to turn on. Oh man, that's bugging me. I'm having dictation issues today. Anyway, you can see it launched it even though I was not focused in the chat box. So that is why we, we put it as a global command. Okay? If I did not have it as a global command, I would have to every time have focus right here to launch that program. Okay? Uh, now, let's see if um, we can get her to open uh, a specific folder. I made a folder on here called exciting. Okay, and in the exciting folder, I made three random files or text files. They have nothing in them. I just did this for sake of an example. Okay, now I can get her to open that specific folder by coding her, or I can go through the file explorer. File explorer, you do not have to code her because she already knows what the file explorer is. I'll give you an example. I can hear you. Open file explorer. Desktop. Open desktop. Ooh. Exciting. Speech recognition is disabled. Click in the red light to turn on. Okay, and as you can see, you know, I told her what file, what folders I wanted her to go to, and she selected it, but she did not enter it. So we need to make a command for her to press enter. So that is very simple. We're going to have to make a whole new command. It's very, very easy. The command browser. So we're going to make a new command. We're going to make this one also a global command. I'm going to say go. Okay. Go down here to step by step. And what I want her to do is I want her to do a new keystroke. I'm going to insert and just press enter. There it is. Now the my command name, you can name it whatever you want, but this has to be the same. It's going to be enter. So whenever I say, you know, open file explorer, um, you know, open that folder. If I say go, it's like her pressing enter. So I'm going to save that. So now I can do this. I can hear you. Open file explorer. Desktop. Desktop. What the hell? And all right, I had to edit the video real quick because my phone rang. So um, where were we? Oh yes. Um, Speech recognition is disabled. Click in the red light to turn on. So I'm gonna get her to uh, open that that folder. So I'm gonna say. I can hear you. Open File Explorer. Desktop. Go. Exciting. Go. One day. Go. Go to sleep. Entering sleep mode. Say wake up to start recognition. That's it. That's pretty much it. And it's, it's very simple. Open Brain Editor. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna we're gonna name this we're gonna name the file. You always name the file first because if you don't, you create a bunch of AIMLs. It's gonna say AIML the entire time, and you're gonna have a bunch of files named AIML, and you're not gonna know what's in them. Just for the sake of being organized, just name it whatever. I'm gonna call this one one day. Okay, so we're going to go to pattern, and this is going to show up. Okay, so on line two, there's two codes of pattern. On line three, there's two codes of template. On line two, 
in between the two patterns You remember here where it was the my command name and I said go in the brain editor it works exactly the same in between the patterns is just exactly like the my command name it's what you say to get uh, whatever you want done so I'm gonna say open one day so on line three in between the templates is the reaction the response or her actions, whatever you want her to do. So in this case, we're going to want her to open a specific file. So I'm going to go here to tags. And I'm going to go down to run. Yes, run. Okay. Don't be intimidated by that. It's, it's not that hard. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and get the the target oh shit properties okay copy so we got the location of the file all right so here we're going to delete everything in between those two quotation marks the file location that we just got is going to go in between that. Now, that's just the name of the folder that it's in. That's not the actual file. So we're going to have to put the actual file. So we're going to put slash, hold on, slash one day dot txt. That is the actual location for that actual file. So we're done.